Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to go over um, just some tips I think that may, you may find useful in sketching the figure. Now, one of the most important things that I always encourage people to think about when you're sketching a figure is to allow yourself to be free. I mean, you're sketching, okay? And one of the, you know, the challenges that I have with many students is that they tend to be hung up on getting things right and it slows them down. So it slows down their literal process of drawing and also slows down their progress as well because you're not allowing yourself to make mistakes. And, you know, ironically, professional artists will tell you that uh, the amount of sketches they sometimes do for single pose, it's, you know, you can't even count because they, they can't continually go over practicing and practicing and getting things right over and over and over and make many mistakes. And sometimes the best ideas come from doing things so-called by making a mistake, all right? So uh, I like to just, you know, encourage you of having a loose style, not being too tight with your, um, your drawings, all right? So um, one of the, the most important things that I generally encourage is the use of a mannequin, meaning you simplify the figure in, in some way that makes it easy to draw. So for example, um, a mannequin I tend to find really useful looks something like this. You have a head, a neck, uh, a torso. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Um, and then you have the hip area, which is it's like a brief, really. Something like that, right? And, uh, and then the legs are attached to this, right, like so. And then the legs are, the lower legs are down here. Okay, and this would be the foot. Now the arms would just be, so basically, you know, as I do with most of my tutorials, the, um, the figure is really just based on basic forms okay so in terms of proportions this point at the top of the thigh where it would be analogous to your hip bone would be the half point of the figure right the quarter point would be the knees um, the head is at the top and then the other quarter point would be right over here that's like the chest okay and that's just using a general proportion we're not using anything very specific here so um, just use this as a rough estimate just to keep things in order now if you can do this this is the most important part if you can do this then after that everything is good to go now the only other thing that i'd emphasize is that don't think of these only as flat shapes think of them as three-dimensional shapes so for example this torso shape is really like a cylinder okay so you think of it as having volume Okay, it has volume. And think of this as another cylinder, but it just curves at the bottom like that. And you can put these little slots on the side. So from the side, it would look, um, and then the neck would be like this, okay? And the head is like that. So think of them as three-dimensional shapes. So in a side view, it would look like that. And notice I'm not trying to be perfect here, okay? Um, I'm not even putting in details and so on. And uh, the neck is like that. Um, from the side, it looks like this. And then this goes like that, right? See, the legs are really just cylindrical forms. I'm not even trying to be perfect here, right? Because <clears throat> the idea is you're trying to just, you're sketching, okay? So we're not trying to be perfect. Um, so the leg would be like that. See? Now, once you can have this little model in mind, then you're good to go. And remember I said, just think of it, the quarters, okay? And the arm comes down like that. And that's what I like about pen, is that pen is not forgiving. Like, pencil, so you can just erase. So, this forces you to accept your mistakes. They have to date. They're there. If you want to go over and restate a line, that's up to you. You know, I generally just let things just hang out, all right? Um, now, this is the mannequin. And if you can get this um, down, and this is pretty simple, I think, it, you would be good. But the important thing is thinking of these as three-dimensional. That would be very important. So in other words, it's almost like you think of them as being transparent. Okay. And the reason why I put this line here is because this line is like a center line, and it helps you to think about the direction of a form. So just some basic things. 
like if you have a um, something like this and I draw the center line like that that gives you and that tells you that the form is facing this direction see and the arm would be here like that see so basically the whole thing is really about just joining cylinders together like so that's it so if you have two cylinders like the upper leg for example the upper leg can you know the thigh can kind of taper like that and then the lower leg will be more like this it won't taper as much and then the foot you can just have a little shape like that all right um <clears throat> i'm gonna do some sketches of figures you can see but now i'm just going over some basic stuff and the other important thing is to think about um, other than having a basic mannequin that you have because you have to understand with this mannequin you can make it a woman you can make it a child you can make it clothed you can make it naked you can do whatever you want but you want to have a basic mannequin that you use to sketch so even when you're sketching from life see this will be in your subconscious driving whatever you do you will be visualizing things that you see in this form just like in other tutorials and i say you use basic forms to draw anything okay so um, another important thing when it comes to the figure is to understand what's called the line of action. Now the line of action is pretty much a dominant line that you perceive because other people can look at the same pose and perceive a, a different line of action. The line of action is a the dominant line. If you were to think of like uh, someone dancing and you see you, you have to somewhat simplify the movement of the figure with one line. So, and it's important because it helps you to simplify something. So for example, I may look at a pose and see this as the line of action. Now, does that line of action has, does it have to correspond with the literal part of the body? Not necessarily, it could be the center of the body, the outer part, it doesn't matter. But the thing is, this is the overall feeling you get from the figure. Then you can start, you know, penciling it in. So this is the center of the body. And notice where I leave here open. I'm not worried about connecting this point, okay? Because that's not important. Um, I'm sketching here. I'm just focused on getting the pose. See that? So that's why I say it's um, important to think of the parts in three-dimensional form. Why? Because you can have a cylinder like this, okay? Just by drawing that, I'm telling you that it is facing this way. It's facing down and away. I can have it facing down and forward. See, it's facing down, but it's coming up out of the page. This is going into the page, see, by just showing this, the top, and here you're seeing the bottom. See, so that's the main advantage of having a um, three-dimensional, thinking of the, the parts of, the, of your little figure as three-dimensional and not just as um, something like that. See, that gives me no information about whether it's pointing away or forward. By doing practicing to draw... Just using this basic form, You're using a cylinder, okay? That's all. So another important thing is, so one, the line of action is important, right? And using your basic mannequin, then you're using three-dimensional forms, okay? Using basic forms, a cylinder. Now, another cool thing is foreshortening. Foreshortening is basically what happens with this pen. See, I'm pointing the pen towards the, um, the camera, and now it just appears as a circle. See, as I make it more parallel to the paper it appears to be elongating now to its full length so in other words when a form is parallel to the surface it will appear something like that as it turns around more towards us it becomes more like this to the point where it's just going to appear like this See, so that's something that's important to keep in mind, because say, for example, 
if I'm drawing the figure and it's standing erect, it will look like that. If it's bending backwards, it's going to look like that. See? So the figure is away. And you don't have to worry about being accurate. Okay? That's, that's not even important. See what I mean? And the arm is away and the arm is up. This is really, really, you know, I can't, I can't tell you how invaluable this basic information is in terms of going forward and sketching figures because you'll be sketching figures using this basic principle. So if you have a um, form like this and you can have a form be, uh, we're going to attach a limb to this. So you have a form like this. You can have attach a limb like that. What if it's if in front? Now if it's in front, it's going to look like this. See? If it's behind, it's going to look like that. See? If it's to the side, it's going to look like that. All right? If the arm is straight out, it's going to look like that. If it's forward, it's going to look like this. And so on. So let's actually get into some, you know, sketching so you see how I do this. Um, I'm just going to sketch as many figures as I can here by using all the paper, as much of the paper as I can.
And I guess that gives a basic idea. And see, this is just sketching the figure without uh, going into detail with clothing and anatomy and all that stuff. This is just how, this is important practice for getting down, getting comfortable with the proportions of the body. And I think this is like an excellent way to start. If you're just starting out with sketching the figure and so on, this is perhaps where you should begin. I did thousands of these over and over and over again in as many different positions as I could do it. And I would look at people, look at figures, look at drawings, look at images, video stills of crowds and just sketch people using this basic form and not worry about the clothing or the details or anything like that because I was disciplining myself to learn how to draw using basic forms. Then, you know, you go forward and start sketching other stuff. And I think that's the problem. Sometimes people start with too, uh, too fast. You know, it's like they start walking before they're they're crawling so you know you have to start with the basics and then you advance forward so with the um the tutorials on the figure i'll do after this and i'll show you how to start you know narrowing in on more details and getting a little bit more technical as far as anatomy and so on but for now this is um important practice